change and coming to a new situation, I wasn't exactly sure what the role would be. Um, so, you know, my mindset is always just to sort of be my best, whatever that, whatever that may look like. And, um, you know, for me, I, I think uh, I, I did that. I, 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 I'm, I'm proud of sort of this individual season I had from a team perspective. Uh, you know, we, we far exceeded any expectations that I would have uh, in terms of win losses, uh, playoff seating, advancing in the playoffs, um, and, and probably most importantly, just you know the the culture here. Um, you know, one of the first things I said to Brett in my free agency meeting last July was, from afar, uh, you know, the reason that I wanted to come here was because of the spirit of this group, the spirit of Brett, um, the culture that they were trying to build, and wanted to be a part of that and add to that. And, and in that regard, um, that, that probably has been the, the, the biggest reward for me uh, is just, just being a part of that culture here. About your future right now, but what was this experience like you play, what was this experience for you playing in Philadelphia? What was it like? How did you enjoy playing in Philadelphia this season, regardless of what happens in the future? Um, I don't want to offend any of the other places I've been uh, or teams I've been on, but th this was this was probably my favorite year of my career. Um, playing in Philly uh, is is its own experience, and our fans, um, the city, the the buzz about sports and about this team. Um, was amazing, and um, you know, it's. I, I think I said this on media day. It's like the first time I'll ever play in a real sports town, and um, you know, the, the, that that definitely lived up to, to to those thoughts. I mean, it was it was awesome to play in Philly. JJ, what, JJ, what do you have to do uh, as a group to to take this and continue to improve for next year, if you're still around? Um. It's a very open-ended question, so bear with me for a second while I do my <laughs> organize my thoughts. But um, I think uh, we obviously have some cap space. Uh, Brian in the front office will, will, I'm sure, look to improve the roster. Um, I think there's also something to be said for, for continuity. So while improving the roster, trying to sort of bring back as many guys as possible. Um, and then the third part of that would be just each individual guy, you know, growing and getting better as a player. I think that's sort of each guy's responsibility in the off season is to come back in September, October, uh, a better player, more in shape, uh, more skilled, uh, better frame of mind. The great thing about that is with the young guys we have, they have a ton of room to grow. They're already fantastic players and you know, those guys are just scratching the surface of, of, of what they can do in this league. Um, so that would be sort of my overarching, you know, theme for, for roster and, uh, and next year. I think that it's a it's a mutual uh, appreciation, um, and uh, I'm sure we 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 all hope that that I am back. Um, you know, the numbers can get tricky. Um, it's not my job to worry about that. So um, I'll let Brian, my agent, and uh, the events over the next two months sort of play out, and and we'll make a decision. I don't know, you know. Um, I feel like I have uh, have had my best years after 30. Um, I f feel like there's still ways to get better. Um, I feel like I pick up something every year in regards to my body and recovery. Um, 
so in that regard, I still feel like I'm in the prime of my career. And how long that lasts, I don't know. But, uh, you know, I, I feel like I can play at a high level for another five years. JJ, JJ when it comes to the mutual appreciation, having said that, is there a requisite in terms of financially or minutes played you're expecting? Uh, I, would never I would never worry about minutes played. Um, in terms of financial, uh, th that's something that every free agent has to weigh. Um, there's, there's always going to be different scenarios um, that, that may happen. And uh, so you certainly have to weigh contract length, um, you know, AAV, um, total value, winning, proximity. <laughs> you weigh all those things. So, um, again, that's uh, – I won't. I won't even think about that for six six weeks. Uh, it's it's uh, just it's just too early. JJ, what was it about this system that allowed you to be successful and thrive in it? Um. There's a lot of good things, uh, body movement, ball movement. Um, you know, I think the personnel fit. Um, I think I think we could be even better, um, you know, especially offensively. I think we could be even better uh, once we, you know, if we had continuity, I think we could be better. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think if you – Players get pigeonholed into being this or that, um, but I think I think if you're a, a good player in this league and you have sustained success in this league, really what you are is adaptable. And um, you know, I didn't I didn't get the same play calling that I got in LA, and certainly not in Orlando. And and you just sort of figure it out based on uh, you know how the team plays and what the team needs. How, uh, what were your impressions of how uh, Joel and Ben handled themselves and the team this year and how well equipped do you think the two of them are to move this franchise forward as part of the young core? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're very well equipped and um, they both had phenomenal years. Um, I think Ben should be rookie of the year. Um, you know, Joe will make an all NBA team. So I, I think you could say that both of those guys had very successful years. Um, and and both have a, a lot of room to grow. Um, you know, this is, they they are sort of the the franchise players for, for the Philadelphia 76ers, and and uh, and they'll be that for for years to come. They're 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 great players. Take two more guys. JJ, you talk about exceeding expectations from the start of the season, just wanting to make the playoffs to you know on the cusp of the Eastern Conference Finals. When you look back on the season as a whole, what allowed this team to exceed those expectations? Um, growth. Um, we we got better. I felt like we got better every month, um, with the exception of that, you know, two week stretch in December, where we lost uh, ten of twelve, and that's a credit to our guys. That's a credit to our coaching staff. Um, you know, there was uh, there was like marked improvement throughout the season, um, and you could, you know, you could quantify that, um, and you can see that. Thanks, guys. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.